All right, guys. Um, week eight, just want to kind of go through what we got going on. Um, you'll have a lecture on crisis management and uh, turnaround organization. I've got some resources for you um, that are primarily geared toward leading during a crisis, just given the situation that we're in. Um, you've got two discussions. Um, your first discussion is going to have you to um, kind of put yourself in the in a kind of a managerial leadership position in uh, this crisis. And I want you to kind of give me a bulleted plan of what you would do to lead. Um, how would you uh, how would you uh, get your organization moving as back to normal as fast as possible? Because that is so important on being able to survive and also being able to mitigate the the risk of health to your um, to your customers and your employees so that's one discussion the second discussion is just going to give you a chance to give some input on the on the class and then your final assignment is due i uh, want to kind of go through it a, a little bit and talk about it just to make sure you understand it so um, in week seven we start talking about creating change uh, and we talked about um, Cotter's eight step model change so what I want you to do is I want you to use these steps um, to instance to tell me how you would institute a change associated either with your organization or your industry so you can either pick the specific organization that you work in now or it could be the industry in general so let me give you an example you could pick a specific change you wanted to see say at Reinhardt or Lander if those were the places you worked or you could pick a specific change you would like to see in your conference or in your uh, or in the NAI or the NCAA or whatever it is you work for. And you're going to develop a um, develop a presentation on the, on the following. So it should be a PowerPoint or some type of presentation. You're going to have a cover slide. You're going to have an overview or kind of a backstory of the problem. Why is there a change needed? Then you're going to address each of those steps in a separate slide. Um, and then you're going to have a slide that provides your thoughts on really how likely the change is to happen. Um, and then you're going to include why you think people would be hesitant to make the change. So you can use those examples that we talked about last week. I want you to be very detailed, provide examples. Okay. And you need to have a minimum of five uh, sources that you provide on a slide. So this is going to give you an opportunity to practice on what it's like to have to institute change because it's going to happen to you. If it hasn't already happened, it's going to keep happening uh, and it will happen um, eventually as you get into these positions. I look forward to seeing what you guys have to put out. Thanks a lot.